afternoon. Today we're going to do some uh, routine maintenance here. We're going to set the points. We're going to set the timing on my 47 knucklehead. We're going to start by pulling out the spark plugs. And they look pretty good. Bike's running well, but not perfectly. And again, this is routine maintenance. Next thing we're going to do is pull the timing plug. Now the timing plug is located here on the left side of the crankcase, right above the right above the primary housing. And the plug is off. Next thing we're going to do is to put the bike in fourth gear, second, third, fourth. Now it's in fourth gear, so that when we turn the rear wheel, we'll be able to turn over the motor. Now I'm going to go to the other side of the bike and set the points before I go any further. So here we are on the right side of the bike. Pull the cap off of the uh, distributor. Harley Davidson calls it a circuit breaker because it breaks the circuit. So getting here into the distributor, we'll turn the motor over with the kickstarter. And right there, the points are opening. The way we did that is with the, with the uh, points cam here. We got on the wide lobe, which actually fires the rear cylinder. But it's the widest lobe, so when we get onto the fiber block on the points here, we get it open, get them open all the way. This is a panhead distributor on this bike. And I'm going to set it to 20 thousandths. Get my 20 thousandth feeler gauge out here. And I hate to tell you I'm cheating, but I already set this. And it's right on the money. Now, the way we would adjust this is we would loosen this lock screw right here for the screwdriver and this screw over here is an eccentric so by moving it fore and aft it will move this part of the points here in and out till we can get it set exactly where we want it in fact why don't I just go ahead and do that again just so that it's easier to see there we go loosen the lock screw and I can turn this screw right here and with the feeler gauge in place I can move it in or out there we go let me turn it the other way now there we go there we go and I'll turn the lock screw down to tighten it and I'll check it again now you'll have to check it sometimes two or three times yeah I closed it up a little too much so I'll open it again just a little bit there there it is and I'm happy with that alright now the next thing I need to do now that I've set the points is that I want to set the timing and to do that I'll pull the clips off the pushrod tubes sometimes it takes a little persuading with a screwdriver and I hate to do it because I hate to bend those things, but I didn't. So with the push rod tubes pulled up, I'll turn the motor over until both front cylinder valves are closed. Now the way you do that is by rotating the motor. And what I want to do is there's the exhaust valve opening. That would be this one right here. Now it's dropped, the lifter is dropping down so the exhaust valve is closed. Now 
There goes the intake valve all the way to the bottom. Now, the way I can tell is by turning the push rods, I can tell that the load is off of them and that those lifters have bottomed. Therefore, both valves are closed on the front cylinder. The next thing I need to do is find the timing mark on the left flywheel. Again, back over to the other side of the bike. And I look into the timing hole. And I turn the motor over with the rear wheel till the timing mark shows up in this hole. Or as it's commonly called, the window. Bumping that wheel just a little bit at a time till that timing mark comes up. Possibly I even passed it and I'll have to go all the way around again, which does happen. Past it. I believe I did. Which is good for demonstration purposes so you can see that these things do happen. Let's see. Now when I finally get the timing mark up again, I think I'm going to be 180 degrees off. Which will be real easy to tell on the other side of the motor. There is the timing mark. Now, chances are I'm 180 degrees off. And in fact, I am 180 degrees off because, as you can see, the exhaust valve is open. <clears throat> I need to go around one more time to get it in the right position. So, I'm going to do that now. Crank it over again. There goes the exhaust valve dropping down. Now the intake valve is dropping down. Now I'm going to go back to the other side. Both valves are closed. So I'll go back to the other side and find my timing bar. And there it is. It's in the window. I'm going to back it up just a little bit. Can you see that? there we go that's where I want my timing mark now it's going to vary from motorcycle to motorcycle regardless of what the factory recommends depending on the timing the cam you're using what you need to do is experiment around but there it is set in the right place back over on the right side of the bike again we can see the timing mark now what we want to do is we want to have the points just opening at the right time so with my little test light here. I'll turn the ignition on. There we go. And that doesn't look to me, looks to me like it's opening too soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an adjustment with the distributor. So we'll loosen the lock nut. Turn the ignition back on again. And you see it opens too soon again. So what we're going to do is rotate it. And we went in the wrong direction. So we'll turn it this way and then back again 
still too soon. By turning it with this lock nut loosened, we're actually changing the timing on the distributor itself. Turn it back a little more. There we go. Just a little more. Because when we rotate it, there we go. There we go. Just a little more that way. Whoops, too far. Too far again. We want it to be right about there. So here we go. There it is. Right there. Too far again. Just a hair back. Now we go like that. And there it is. Now we tighten tighten this right back, turn the ignition switch off again. Tighten up the lock nut on the adjuster. And we'll check it again. And there it is, right there. And now the timing is set and the points are set. We can put the plugs back in, start it up, adjust the carburetor. Oh, that's another, that's another subject for another time. But there it is for today. Thank you.